Hey guys, what's going on? Anonymous TK is back on the channel and this time I wanted to do a different video. I wanted to talk about Blade and why I think he's not that overpowered that everybody thinks and why I don't think that he needs to be nerfed. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video, it's kind of uh, not uh, videos that I do usually, but I do see a lot of videos on YouTube that a lot of people are saying that we need to nerf him, he's too overpowered and he's that and he's that. And what I'm going to say is bullshit. Stop bullshitting and don't talk about stuff that you don't really know. Uh, most of the people that are saying that, there are the people that are not going for him and they don't really have him as a five star or something uh, or as a four star for that matter. Uh, I do have Blade as a four star. I had him just uh, at that from that week that he was uh, released and I do have him as a sick 99 from almost first week so I can't say what he's good at and he was and what uh, he's not so good at so I do have a lot of experience with this guy because I do use him a lot before that I just want to say that they're always going to be that one champion that is going to be better than everybody else there's always going to be someone that's going to be stronger than the rest uh, so if you go and nerf that champion every single time, it will not stop. It's an endless loop because somebody is always going to be uh, the best. Before Blade came along, everybody said that Ghost Rider was the best. He needs to be nerfed. And then uh, we had Voodoo needs to be nerfed and Stark Spidey and everybody. So if you nerf one person, you're always going to have the best next thing that's going to pop up to the top. And... Everybody's going to say, everybody that don't have him going to say, oh, he's too good. We need to nerf him. Uh, I, I, I do not agree. And as far as I understand the build and how they made Blade, he is the answer for all that unavoidable damage in the game. Because uh, when you play the game, you have your skill, your personal skill. If you have a high skill level, you can go through most of the co content without using uh, units without burning your own money uh, but they always uh, some point and time in the game that you come to it and it, it, it doesn't really matter how skilled you are in the game you're not gonna go through with it without some help from your um, from your unit uh, bank so the top four things that come into mind is Magic Slimbo. It's unavoidable damage. There's almost nothing that you can do to avoid that. You have Dormammu's D-Gen that is super hard to go up against it. Mephiston's Incinerate and Iceman's Cold Snap. We all had in uh, Modox Hotel that Ice Phoenix in that in that chapter three that it was just so damn hard to go through. I didn't really use Blade, but still, it is so hard to use your champions. It doesn't really matter which champion if you're going up against an unavoidable damage. And Blade is the answer for that unavoidable damage. But he's not the answer for everything in a game. Uh, Blade doesn't really have all those uh, special abilities that people think that they do. He um, cannot shrug off any... Uh, debuffs on him just when his uh, power meter is uh, high but when his power meter is high of course you use your special so it never you never get him to like a hundred percent and just leave it that if you're gonna have a debuff on you right so you use all those specials every single time so he cannot shrug off uh, debuffs um, he does not have immunities again he's not immune to bleed he's not immune to a degen he's not immune to incinerate cold snap uh, poison he's not immune to all that um, he does not have uh, power uh, lock he does not have power management he, he cannot decrease uh, enemies power uh, level and everything he cannot take sp3s he cannot tank them he cannot go through thorn, uh, thorns he gets the damage from the th thorns node he cannot counter evade he cannot evade himself so he does not have all those um, extra abilities that other champions uh, do what he does have is three things mainly he has big uh damage output um uh, he has ability accuracy de uh, decrease and he has uh, a heal right um 
let's talk about the big uh, damage output. He's not the only champion that got that great damage output. You have Stark Spidey that he has pretty much the same damage output, maybe a little less. If we're going to uh, nerf Blade, why not nerf uh, Stark Spidey? He's got a huge uh, damage output and Stark Spidey has the evade and he has those boosts on him and he has power drain, all the stuff that Blade doesn't. So I'm saying if you want to uh, nerf Blade because he has the the great damage output plus some other stuff, Stark Spidey is not far from him. Uh, as far as the second thing that he has is um, ability uh, ability accuracy decrease. It's not 100% ability accuracy, it's a 45%. And if you use um, Stark Spidey in, in your... Um, in your team, you have another 45%, so it's about 90% ability accuracy de uh, decrease. But you have other champions that have that, plus and then some. You have uh, Quake, you have uh, uh, Dr. Voodoo, you have a lot of other champions that do have ability accuracy decrease and uh, something on top of that. So why not nerf everybody, right? So that's not a reason to nerf him as well. And the third thing is that Blade has uh the one thing that everybody says that uh, an infinite region it's not infinite region the infinite region one was when there, there was a bug but they removed it i have a four star version so i don't have the bug and i never had it uh and it's not that easy to region with him as other people would like to think or people think right uh i do have him as a rank 99 as a sync 99 sorry and the thing is that when you are regening, you're standing still. I'm not talking about the small, uh, smaller uh, PI champions that you're going up against that you don't really need that and you just can go and uh, uh, take them out with every, basically with every each and every champion. I'm talking when you're going up against the beefy champions, when you're going up against the labyrinth champions, uh, when you're going up against uh, the new uncollected um difficulty if you stand still and you're starting to regen you get two hit blocks from your enemy and all the region that you've done is gone right right uh, right right, right out, of, out of the window so when you're trying to regen and you get hit even when you're blocking uh, the damage that you're getting is way higher than the region that you're uh, regenerating so it's not worth it so to regen you always have to regen and when the enemy comes at you you just swipe back and it's not as great as people would think it's a very hard and skill-based uh, ability and you really need to get good at it and even i'm that i'm playing like at least like two or three months with a champion i don't have it down uh good uh, to to the de uh, to the details that i would like to have it so even though that he has all those abilities, he is not perfect, and uh, you need to know how to use him. It's not as easy as, yeah, one, two, three, SP2, and he's done. No, you really need to know how to use the de uh, the healing. You really need to use uh, know how to uh, use the champion, and he doesn't have all the other abilities that other champions have. So I really don't think that he needs to be uh, nerfed because he is a good champion. He is um better than other champions than most champions yes for certain uh, for certain uh, areas in the game you, you if you're taking him not against villains or something he is a regular champion and there's nothing to it basically he was made to counter all the uh unavoidable damage in the game nothing else and that's what i'm using him for when you're going up against uh other champions that are not villains or dimensional um, beings, and I'm saying villains if you have the uh, Ghost Rider synergy with him, yes, he is good against them, but all the other ones, just another champion. Uh, one more thing that I do want to uh, point out, a lot of people are saving up for him, and they always save up for the better champions that are coming along. Right now, we have Void, that just, just came out, and everybody knows that he is a good champion, so a lot of people are going to go for him. There's not going to be a second round. He's not going to come uh, back around again, but still, I want to just remind you guys what happened 
uh, about a year and a half ago when the 12.0 uh, update came uh, came up. Uh, we had a very, very strong champion in the game, very above everybody else, and his name was Doctor Strange. Everybody w wanted to get him, and when you got him, you know that you are going to have a lot easier game, and um, and everybody wanted him, basically. Um, uh, long, uh, long story short, everybody tried to get him. What happened that Kabam, um, uh, the Doctor Strange movie uh, came out, so they did a special event for Doctor Strange, and they gave out a special crystal to award uh, Doctor Strange in it, and if you didn't get him, you could buy with money and with units extra, extra uh, chances of getting him, like three or... Uh, three uh, chances, uh, if I'm not mistaken, or even more. I don't remember exactly. And people bought that. Uh, I had the, uh, the opportunity and I had the luck to get him on a first crystal, so I didn't have to invest more money into it. But people did invest real money into the game just to get that champion. Two weeks afterwards, two weeks after the, uh, the champion came out, uh, Kabam went out with a special deals to awaken any champion that you wanted. And everybody knew that, uh, like 85% of the people that bought it, bought it for Doctor Strange because they wanted to awaken that crazy champion, that, that good champion that they got. So they invested, again, real money into the game. Two weeks after that, or one week after that, the 12.0 came and just uh, nerfed the champion to the ground, and now he's useless. And a lot of people were angry about it because... Kabam released a good champion. They just gave you an opportunity to get him. You invested everything that you had in him. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you have grinded like three months or four months or half a year uh, for those shots to get him and uh, or invested real money. You have invested a lot to get a certain champion. And when you got him, like two weeks after, he was nerfed and he was done. And there was a big boycott. That was one of the reasons, of course, a lot of people are saying that um, uh, it's because of the, the big nerfs, and one of the nerfs was Doctor Strange, and in my opinion, he was nerfed way more than Scarlet Witch was. Uh, so, right now, and, and I'm, t I'm telling you this from experience, if uh, Kabam will nerf Blade, 99% that that will happen, because we have a lot of people are saving for him, me included. I I have not spent any of my five stars for like four or three months, even a little bit before he was um, uh, released, because I want I know that I want to go for him because I know that he is a champion that I need for my roster because I need the uh, the bleed, I need the uh, ability uh, accuracy dec uh, ability accuracy uh, decrease. And I want that champion for my roster. So I know that if I'm going to spend 150,000 shards from my personal stash on him and a week later he's going to get nerfed, that, that's it, man. Probably I'm going to uh, probably I'm gonna quit the game or do something drastic or just, uh, I don't know. Think about it. If you would invest a lot of money into the game to get a certain champion and he would get nerfed, a lot of people will stop playing the game because that's a pure attempt to milk people and just and, and then just throw their money into the into the trash, right? So that's what I'm thinking. Uh, he does not need to be uh, nerfed, as far as we know. Kabam does. Uh, they do not have anything uh, in works to nerf him, as far as I know. I don't know. Maybe I'm mistaken. Let me know in the comments. But uh, you cannot nerf a champion that you know that most of the community is saving for and most of the community invested in him. And we know that there are a lot of people that completed Act 5 and used those T5 basics on Blade and t took him to rank 5. Think about what's gonna happen in the community if you go, uh, if you're gonna nerf, if, if Kabam is gonna nerf a champion that a lot of uh, a big portion of the community that uh, already used the the most rare resource, uh, um, the most rare uh, resource that we have in a game is T5 basics on Blade, and they're gonna nerf him, right? It's gonna be well saying that it's gonna be a bo another boycott is just understand uh, understatement, right? I think it's gonna be a, even a bigger one than the first time. Um, so, in my opinion. 
hands down. He doesn't need to be nerfed. He is a very good champion uh, for certain uh, things in game. And if you think that he is too powerful and he is not making the f game fun enough for you and you think uh, that I'm not right, just don't use him. Nobody's making uh, the people that think that he's overpowered to use him, right? You can have him in your roster, use him for arenas, but hey, don't use him on a quest if you think that he's that it's not fun for you anymore. I'm not saying that to sell him uh, by by uh, by you know no means. I would never suggest selling a champion, no matter how good or how bad he is. Just don't use him if you're not having fun playing him, right? If it's too easy for you and it's just taking out all the fun out of your uh, gameplay, shut up. Just don't use him. Use the next best thing or use, uh, I don't know, Gwen, uh, Spider Gwen or use uh, Red Hulk or She Hulk or somebody that is going to be more, uh, uh, more adventurous for you. That's what I'm thinking, right? Uh, so that's my personal thoughts, guys. I'm sorry that it took so much uh, out of your time. I did try to make it as uh, short as I could, but but I do see a lot of people on YouTube that think that he needs to be, and I just couldn't sit still and just not saying anything about it. So I think he's good as he is, and and that's it about it. I'm thinking I'm not gonna drag it uh, more than it needs to. So thank you guys so much, guys, for watching up until now. If you if you agree with me, let me know in the comment section. If you disagree with me and you have a valid point of why, not that because he's too overpowered. That's not a valid point. You have to have reasons. Reason is he hits too hard. All right? I agree. So nerf uh, Stark Spidey as well. Nerf uh, Star Lord as well. And nerf everybody that hits uh, over the average. If he has something, I mean, that kind of valid point that you think it's more than uh, okay um no that you think that is uh, way too overpowered for him as far as he needs to get nerfed only if you have valid points let me know in the comment section down below guys thank you so much for watching hope that helped you out and take care and we'll see you next time